Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin, founder and owner of survivalsports.com. Today's topic is wildlife, well, habitat for wildlife. Remember the deer, the uh, not the deer, the squirrel hunting video that we did? We came around here and we talked about like the notch in the tree and how squirrels like that habitat, that type of habitat. Well, a few years ago, some of the, a lot of the pine trees were cut off the property. So part of the habitat reconstruction, there's a nice mature pine tree right there. Anyway, part of my ongoing development, developing a self-sustaining homestead, is wildlife habitat. It's not just farming, not just gardening, not just having guineas and hopefully goats this in 2017 or sheep. It is developing a sustainable habitat for wildlife, such as deer and squirrels, rabbits, stuff like that. And I went down on a local tie line. This is where the power lines run through the woods. They haven't bush hogged it in a while. Utility crews usually keep that clear. I went through there and dug up a bunch of little small pine tree saplings. That sprouted off a seed. On the edge of the uh, high line, there's some large, nice, mature pine trees. Well, their seeds are blown down on the high line. The seeds sprout, and we have here some natural pine trees. They're not hybrids. Uh, anyway, let's not get off into that kind of stuff. Let's just stay on topic, guys. So what I did was I went out there and I dug up a bunch of these little pine saplings. Well, you said, well, Kevin, that's stealing. That's stealing. You're, you shouldn't be over there doing that kind of stuff. Guys, these little pine trees are going to be cut down anyway. They're in the utility right away. This spring, crews are going to come through with big machines and clear cut all along the power lines. So I saved this pine tree. I saved this pine tree's life. And to me, that means a lot. That this pine tree, we're going to come over here and we'll look around. We've got some oaks. We're going to look in south. We've got the bag that we got them in. We've got a deer feeder right there. We've got a nice view of the southern... Uh, southern sun we're gonna come back here let's say right here guys yeah that pine tree can go straight grow straight up through there and I've already planted oh I don't know a dozen and a half of these and I don't expect all of them to take but I sure do hope that some of them will take Hopefully we just saved that pine tree's life. We moved it from utility right away. To here, where squirrels, decade or two, 20 years or so, 15 years, this pine tree will be growing up right up through there. It's an ironwood tree I can cut down. Hard, not hardly good for anything but axe handles and stuff like that. Got some nice pin oaks in here. It's got a creek right over there. Wonderful habitat. We just need a balance of oaks and pine trees. And that's what I'm working on now. Thinking long term, guys, long, long term. I may not be old enough to ever see these pine trees mature, say in 20 years or so, where they're nice and they start producing acorns, I mean not acorns, so pine cones and seeds and squirrels start coming through here. But maybe my grandkids can. Maybe my grandkids can. Maybe one day my granddaughter or grandson will come out here and uh, get them a squirrel out of that tree. Or just come out here and my kids tell them, hey, you know, your papa came through here and planted a whole bunch of these pine trees by hand. All right, guys and gals, that's it for now. I've got a few more to plant and I will talk to y'all later.